If you had to pick a favorite or favorite three all time songs from films in Indian cinema, Ooh. what would be the first ones that come to your mind that are your personal favorites? Oh God, that's tough. I don't know. We've reacted like thousands. I know. I know the three that immediate. I have so many that are my that I adore, I have on playlists, but there's three because of what they mean hmm. personally in the birth of the channel. Hmm. So, up in the time I got, yeah. that's just, that's always gonna have a special place in my heart. Yeah. Malhari. Mm. Yeah, I got real tired of that one. Yeah. <laughs> did you, did you finally, did it finally reach a point where, oh, it was, it was way past <laughs> Not only was I trying to do the video, it was Leland's favorite song. I know. So he always wanted, he always to, wanted to it on. And so I got I got so tired of it. I mean, I I still like it, and it's gotten better because I hadn't listened to it for months after the video came out. That happens to a lot of actors who do musicals. Yeah. After they've done a musical a lot, they don't want to hear those music, that song anymore. And they used yeah. to love the songs, yeah. but then it just becomes too yeah, much. It was so far. And what was the third one? Um... um the other one, the other, uh, not Malhari, uh, the... Bajira? Yes. The, uh, the one from, the, that was... The had, Yes. No, the, the, the one with all of the... Uh, the Ranveer Get Shot? Yeah, that number. The oh, other okay. big musical number. Da -na -na, da -na, da -na, yes. Da -na -na, da -na -na. Yeah, that one. Yep. So the, the Padmavat, Bajira Mastani one, and... I mean, it's tough because I was like, chain, chain, chain. that's Mine, what made me think of it was mine's that song. Made in India, made in. Have you hated that song? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I do. <laughs> hey, welcome back to your stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I don't even know if that ever made it to the channel. You know what? I don't think it did. What happened? Blocked? I might have got blocked. It's very possible. Yeah, that's not a bad um, thing. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that was like, yeah. oh, probably a year and a half ago, I'd imagine. Anyway. Uh, today, what are we doing, Rick? I don't have the foggiest clue, but I bet you do. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, today, today. You don't have a bicycle sitting in your backyard? What? Why is that just sitting it's out there? It's not even mine. Whose is it? Oh, I don't in your backyard. Oh, no, that's mine. Today we got a, a little sketch. This is called Reasons I Hate Bollywood. No, this is um, just Ray. Okay. So it's a little, it's a, got it's it. a funny sketch. Got it. Uh, for, we've seen a many of his videos. He's a very funny guy. Very funny. Uh, I don't even think he does YouTube anymore, actually. Oh, uh, this bummer. Is back in 2013, so it's what, almost 10 years ago, I guess. We're eight, eight-ish. That's sad. Nine. Nine years We're ago. about to hit 22. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, but yeah, so it's it's a little funny sketch little thing about that. I don't think they're real reasons. So yeah, like, you know, Lord of the Rings turned 20. Oh. <laughs> That's real sad. I don't like that at all. Here we go. Now, this is a video I promised myself that I'd never do. And here I am. <laughs> What's going on? This is your man just rain, but you can call me just me. Now I really wanted to avoid this topic because just it's it's something that's been beaten to a pulp. But then I thought, why not talk about things that made me give up all hope on Bollywood? See if anybody maybe you might relate to them. They'll do. Now this isn't your typical cliche, oh look at them dancing around the tree. Dwight Bolt, none of that bullshit. <laughs> this is real life, painful memories. Things that I've <laughs> lost sleep over. Things that I've also fallen asleep to. First and foremost, let's start off with a band. This one I call the Bog Bomb scenario. And it's probably one of the most overused, beaten to death cliches in pretty much every single Bollywood movie that involves family dynamics. You take a son and or you take a daughter who have become too modern and start to rebel against their family's traditional customs. Now you think that most of these movies play on both sides of the story. Nope. Hello, son. Would you get that to do? Oh, so thinning you get that? Oh, 
नहीं बहुत अजय हमको नींद नहीं है दैट्स नाइस लिसन टू हमको काम बहुत है अच्छा मुझे मेरी हेल्प की जरूरत है नो फ्रेंड्स डैड आप लोगों को क्या पता है आप गंदी से गैस स्टेशन में काम करते थे शिट मैन और मिलियन डॉलर कॉर्पोरेशन बेटा अब के लेके इतना प्यार लेते तो सी आपको नहीं जानते हो जिन्हें से तू नहीं जानते हो आपको सन आई लव माय सन आप लोगों को क्या पता है आई एम बिकॉज़ ऑफ हु आई एम फॉर मी बहुत मैं तेरे जंप पर आया दूध पुआता आपके तुसी मेरे आपके ने जी बेच दी ना करे बहुत जो टू दैट बुक दी सन खाना हम आप ही खा सकते हैं हम आपको घर में आप ही आ जा सकते हैं हम जयपुर हम छोटे एफर्ट बन के आप ही साफ कर सकते हैं वो वो हमें कम टू बेड नाउ यस यस सुनिशा डार्लिंग आई एम कमिंग अब क्या प्यार की गल करते हैं मुझे मालूम नहीं है आप कौन है वो आई जस्ट अ ओल्ड मैन आई एम अ बिग डॉट कॉर्पोरेशन ग्रेसफुल pieces of shit is the worst is when Sorry, you can't watch it back or watch it back when uh, uh, yeah that's what i was thinking of the guilt trip this movie right here was notorious for it which one go the nerd go go the nerd and go back tangi padi maru di apu hundi si e hi aare na no respect tu bhi sun mai di baar padega tu cha ki de ni tu san puchna hai tere waste mein chocolate da apni khandi si tenu khondi si tenu cavity na ho jaye nikal ja मनु बात करता ना करो जिंदगी मनु बात करता ना आप नहीं करते कन्या थैंक यू बॉलीवुड फॉर रूइंग दिस परफेक्टली गुड क्वालिटी टाइम आई वाज स्पेंडिंग विद माय मदर नाउ शी इज मैड एट मी फॉर समथिंग दैट आई हैव नॉट इवन डन नेक्स्ट ऑन द लिस्ट इज द डिसअपीयरिंग एक्ट पिक्चर दिस अ सॉन्ग कम्स ऑन इन अ बॉलीवुड मूवी अ गाय इज डांसिंग विद अ गर्ल इन मेनी डिफरेंट लोकेशंस ऑल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एंड जस्ट बिफोर द सॉन्ग फिनिशेस अप द गाय टर्न्स अराउंड बूम व्हाट हैपेंड doesn't even exist then who the shit were you dancing with you spent all this money going on exotic locations like bora bora istanbul swiss alps have we seen that the swiss alps and the whole time she didn't even exist imagine being on a plane ride back to that guy i've been traveling all across the world chasing the girl of my dreams oh and i really wanted to impress this girl so i made this whole song up about her literally spent like thousands of dollars on food accommodation travel backup dance choreographer a full orchestra a dj and loudspeakers i sing it live there's a mic hook up so it's all a big system to ship that across the world with you is like <laughs> <laughs> Permits apparently a large group of people congregating in one random location and dancing is like a violation against safety or some bullshit like that. Do you mind? As we're dancing the Swiss Alps. Oh no. Whole time the girl was even real. <laughs> It's a big one of my imagination. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, I think that this girl still exists somewhere in the world. I just got fired. And I'll do whatever it takes. Who are you go? Because as they say, you better be one of the ones. Uh, can I get another seat? Congratulations. You're now in a financial crisis over what dream that you had. What day daydream that you had? Here's one that I really don't like care about, but it's just funny to me because it's like reverse racism. <laughs> The white ref. Anytime there was a white person in any Bollywood movie, it would make absolutely no sense. But that was the beauty of it. Okay, everybody, listen up. Uh, we need an American Gora to be a part of this film. Where can we get one from? Uh, America? Nope. <laughs> How about Finland? <laughs> yes. Every white person in any of these movies was some random Dutch immigrant who had no idea how to speak English. It was pretty prominent in Punjabi movies as well. Hey man, 
Why are you carrying so much weight on your head? Okay, I know. Take this, and you'll become a dude like him. <laughs> what? Sorry. Now the budget of a Bollywood movie is probably like forty-five billion dollars. It's an estimate. Just, just, just stick with me, okay? And they couldn't spend like two grand flights and accommodation to fly out like two random white dudes from Oklahoma. We're them. We see who are who are SAG $200. members and like know what we're doing. I totally agree with that point. That from what? flying from Finland, not from America. Bloody brilliant. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> Tough guy. Sometimes the English of these Norwegian white people is so bad that they need to go back and dub the bad English with probably even more bad Dutch English. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know the value was disturbing. <laughs> Next gen backup dancers. Oh god. This is one of Bollywood's biggest WTF factors. These dancers try so hard to be like Western hip hop dancers that they actually overshoot what they're trying to achieve by like 45 billion. Now this is just a rough estimate once again. How to be a Bollywood backup dancer. Step one, you just have like a bunch of dudes. Step two, dress them up. How a serious Cadillac would assume cool kids dress. Step three, uncomfortable dance moves. This Step is, four, uh, you are my Sonia. Clothes. Step yeah. five, <laughs> Step six, and rock, because why not? Oh. Come on, baby, just move to the crew. Get down and fuck Remember Come the, guy, cool uh, style. Yeah, oh, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Did you hear that? That's the sound. Tupac, Tori's B.I.G., Vanilla Ice. Oh, he's not dead yet? <laughs> not just circling their grave, but digging deeper into the earth to get away from all these whack-ass rappers. No, wait. Now they realize that if they dig any deeper, they'll hit the earth's core, and their bodies will light on fire. Kind of like cremation. And that's a very Indian custom. And Bollywood is Indian, and they don't want that, so no. Anyways, that's that's uh, that's a part. Things, cliche, cliche things, reasons that I hate Bollywood. Maybe I'll do another one, even though I promised myself I would never do this type of video. But, say la vie. <laughs> Such a just me thing to say. Alright, well. I'll get this again up for dinner, but I can hear so don't forget about it. What? It's video. It's been in India for like many years now as well. What's your question? 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 What the f*** is going on right now? Not one of his funniest videos for sure, but no. um... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the white people thing is very true. Yeah, and the, you were speaking to us, actually. You were, yeah, that's that for me. That was the only takeaway that yeah. is actually yeah. legitimate. Also, I agree with. it was definitely not just Bollywood either. I know. No. I know he's saying it just for the sake of the title of the video. Yeah, but because obviously he even mentioned. I think those were actually Punjabi films that he was actually playing from. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just nobody in India wanted to spend money on white people. It's true, and you should. And they you have, get what you pay for, and they have started to. You get what you pay for. At least some of them, obviously, yeah. started at Udan. Yeah, and in all sincerity, those of you who know us, this is we're preaching to the choir. But when we when we talk about hiring us, it, we're not doing some petty call out to try to get hired in an Indian film. We'd be honored to be in an Indian film, but we care about artistry, and we're, it really is annoying when you can act to watch actors who suck and think they're ruining this movie because they just didn't spend the money on getting people who know to do what they're doing. So, as long as, like, if I see a movie and everybody's acting great in it, I'm thrilled. Like, my quintessential story is I auditioned for Kramer vs. Kramer as a kid, didn't get the role. Mm -hmm. I know why I didn't. They wanted a blonde kid to look like Meryl Streep, not a kid who looked like Dustin Hoffman. That was their choice. What mattered to me was the kid gonna be any good. Justin Henry was freaking great. Yeah. I, I was, to this day, was like, I, they made the right choice. I have no regrets that I wasn't cast in that. It would have been cool. Yeah. But what sucks is when you see something that you think you could have done and the people in it are dreadful. Yeah. White people. It's true. Especially, especially. 90% of the films we've seen from India. Yeah. If there's 90%. A if there's a white the person. Caucasians suck. Uh, it's changing some. We've seen some good ones. Mimi, they were pretty good. Sardar Odan, they were, they were good. 
union actors. Much better. You could definitely Much tell better. They were good union actors. Yeah. Um, and then I think we've seen something more recent as well. But yeah, but the rest of this was for me just like okay, whatever. Yeah. You could. It, it has such an old YouTube feel to it. The 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 static audio feel to the skits. The, yeah. it, especially at the beginning of YouTube, there was a bunch of skits like this um so this is I, this had to be one of his earlier videos i'd have to imagine but yeah um regardless i think he's a very funny guy just this video wasn't one of my favorites um but anyways let us know what other videos from him and other sketch videos that we can react to down below Josh!